I actually have already mixed up, but I've taken a, a mason jar and uh, put basically half of a plastic spoon <laughs> full of uh, powder in here and then reconstitute it with a little bit of warm water uh, and mixed it up. And uh, it's, I've got, hey, I've got an empty bucket and then you guys see I still have a bunch of syrup. So what I'm going to do is try to set this down here. There you go. It's flipped around. Hey, Phil. And uh, crack this open. And got some syrup. You see, I got some floaties in the bucket. But it's all right because it's going to be open feed. And uh, what I'm going to do... Put about a half a bucket, maybe a little bit more. Bloop, bloop. All right, a little bit more in there. So uh, I've got now two half extra flavor. That's it. So I got two half buckets basically. And all I'm going to do now, and guys, it doesn't really matter at this point because uh, all this is going to be mixed, poured in one tote. But typically, what I do. Just pour about half in there. About half, you know, just kind of mix it up a little bit. No, oh, empty jar. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I don't have much left. I got a little bit of my peppermint left, um, which I put in sometimes, sometimes I don't. A couple drops in there, a couple drops in there. Good to go. Y'all saw just a few drops. Let me go over here. Yeah. grab my my sprayer set to full and uh, I'm just gonna mix that in with the water diluting down the, uh, the syrup that's in there and I haven't put any food in feed in there today so probably won't get much activity today might get more tomorrow but literally half of a half of a uh, plastic spoon. When I say plastic, I mean the kind you would get if you were having a cookout, you know, like you would eat with, not a not like a big mixing spoon or anything like that. It really goes a long way. Um, but I've got some. Uh, let me flip this around. Ah, oh, there you go. Let me go out to my, my feeder. Uh, I'm gonna ask y'all at this point not to order. Don't order because I think I've got a special deal coming up for you guys here this week um, to order some Apis Biologic at a discount. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you hold off and wait a minute to do that, to order some. So right now, I've got nothing. I've got nothing over here. No, no feed in here. There's, there's like one bee in here. Uh, hold on. Uh. And uh, that's one, one bucket. We'll let that one drain and go get the other bucket. And you know, it is quarter to five, so most of the bees have gone home for the day. Um, so the good thing about buying this sugar like this is it ends up costing me, uh, about a dollar a gallon, a dollar a gallon, not including the Apis Biologics, but, uh, I think I figured it out to about five cents a gallon to add Apis Biologics to it. A nickel a gallon. Nickel a gallon. I don't know what I just said, but it's a nickel a gallon. Five cents extra. And uh, I'm just going to spread 
spread this out a little bit so they got floaties to land on and uh it should come up so to to give you a little bit of a heads up is it looks like i will be becoming an authorized distributor of apis biologics which means if you order in the united states you don't have to order it from canada you can just order it from me and uh and that way i would be the sh shipper right so what i'm trying to do is i'm going to set up a pre-order list and offer a discount so i can order the initial the initial amount of rocket fuel and uh i'm looking at probably uh, a 20 percent discount um to order it and that way you can get your rocket fuel from the states and having to order it through canada and having a longer shipper time now initially this first order the like the pre-order it will take a little bit longer just because i got to get the pre-orders then i got to order it and uh and then ship it oh the sun and then ship it out right so it will take a little bit in the beginning to get things started but after that i should always have it on hand and you'll be able to get it much quicker than having to wait to go through canada uh to get it so there's a plus to that so if, if you guys are interested and in, i know the sad part about this is had i done this two three weeks ago we had already be in business having it going and uh because I know people have used that discount code that I offered out in our show to get things going. But um, at any rate, that's where we're going with this. And hopefully, you know, maybe this springboards to getting another product and another product till eventually I have a whole uh, beekeeping store. But, um, you know, my thing is to be able to offer the product for you guys, it would help to uh give you guys a discount and that way you guys are saving money and at the same time it's helping me get established with it so at any rate guys that's the thoughts um you know throw a thumbs up if you will and uh after the video put in the comments if you're wanting to get in on the um initial order um the pre-order to save a little bit of extra money and uh you know get it going plus the packs are small so the shipping is not like a um you know those one price ship boxes and stuff like that the flat rate boxes i guess is the best way to say it um to get your rocket fuel going uh i'm i'm sold on it guys um i mean first of all ian stepler used it uh, that in itself is enough for me you know what i mean that's enough to uh push me over the edge of wanting to continue to use it um i want to i'm going to see if i can get stung over here for you guys um let's see i just added believe it or not i added a super so i added a super on this colony that was a double five frame eh, they're not too much moving up at the moment but i know the bottom is slammed full of bees um i could spray some sugar water on those frames and help them come up but i know the bottom is slammed full it's got about six to seven frames of brood in the bottom of that one call it the spider-man hive right it's red and blue but things are going uh you know pretty well and um you know if you've got a store or something like that and you want to put some apis biologic in your store let me know and uh, i'll get you in on the initial order and uh and we'll get you a good savings on it probably uh more well i know it's more than you would save if you uh bought it on on the online on the line as they say um yeah i got a couple bees in it right now there'll be more showing up if i give it a few minutes uh let me rinse i'm gonna rinse the sugar off my hand and uh and we can discuss things.
Let me, uh, I'm gonna lean you up on this, uh, well, maybe, me, no, I'll lean you up on the, the mason jar, um, while I rinse my hand. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, right now, with anything, we're trying to, uh, you know, save money, right? We're all trying to save a little bit of money in beekeeping and do what's right, you know, this time of year for our bees. Um, I got some nice little purple flowers that are blooming over here. I need to see what they are. That's some of that wild flower uh, we planted, uh, I don't know, a year ago, a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. It's been a while. But, uh, you know, the the thing is with Apis Biologics, it's, um, it's a good product, guys. They're going to be at Hive Life. Um, but again, they got to bring it from Canada. So who knows? Maybe I work that out and the pre-orders come here and then we take them. I take them up there. I don't know. We'll see. See how it goes because uh, right now it's a, uh, it's a good uh, opportunity for me here, um, at least at this point. Especially, especially if we could do a bunch of pre-orders and, and that way I'm not coming out of pocket to sit on a bunch of stuff that um, may or may not sell, right? So uh, that's the whole thing with anything that you're selling, even honey. Um, you don't wanna have more honey than you can sell because then it, you end up just, it's just sitting there, right? You got money tied up in the buckets and, and everything else. So you kinda wanna have things planned out, um, you know, going forward. And uh, ah. <laughs> Yeah, I shaved it off yesterday, guys, because uh, primarily because that job said that um, that I couldn't have facial hair uh, to work there. So if they do, in fact, call me and hire me, then um, I've already got that taken care of. Plus, my son's getting married in a couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, if you've cut off facial hair before, sometimes you get like uh, zits and stuff when <laughs> after the fact. So I wanted to give it time to... Uh, um, to clear itself up ahead of time <laughs> before the wedding and uh you know have that stuff uh going well we're starting to get more bees over here it's not not a lot right now we went from like one bee we got about four or five bees uh checking it out and once they get their fill they'll start flying back and then next thing you know maybe not today maybe not this evening but tomorrow it will go crazy on it um I need to do, I, what I want to do, when this is gone, maybe uh, I'll do a, a couple Boardman feeders uh, like Fred Dunn did before and have one without uh, one without the Apis Biologics and one with it to see if there is a difference, if, if they prefer one over the other. Uh, my thing is I'm force feeding it to them right now. That's all they can get. So they can get it, but it's, it's just got the, uh, it's already got it in there, right? So they got to take it. Um, so that's a, it's not a bad thing all the time. Let me check this colony out. Just pop the, just check the feeder. This feeder, uh, I don't know. They're not drinking it. They're not drinking anything out of here. Well, that's because I'm dumb. I have it rotated backwards. Um, I'll have to fix that later. I got the, you know how the hive slants forward? I'm using a Saracel feeder, but I got the, the feeder area to the back. So once it, because it leans forward, it's not going to the openings. So that's uh, it's a bad thing for that. But yeah, today's been just a busy day. Went and did some shopping. Uh, Lee's got a new podcast, if you want to check that out. On uh, I know it's on iHeart and Spreaker and... Um, bunch of different places so definitely check that out um george is walking around strutting his stuff this morning or this afternoon Let's see if we can get george on here hey george george already gave you food i need to bring the hose over here oh oh stepped in a hole need to bring the hose over here and fill up your water container don't i georgie Little George. And of course, Porky's big behind us sitting back there. So, but yeah, we're just kind of trying to let that, uh, let that feed go and see, man, I got 
five gallon pail lids everywhere. I need to pick them up. Um, need to see how they, uh, if they're starting to pick up. Not too much over there right now. Few. They're starting to head back. So you figure every time they head back, they're going to do a waggle dance, right? Bring more over. I need to just bring, well, it'll get pretty crazy in here if I leave the, uh, um, if I sit on a bucket or something back here. Let's see. Flip that bucket upside down. And we can see. So I already saw about five, ten bees fly back to the colony. So depends how many they bring back every time because they're taking off. Again, they filled up and they're heading out. But I'm sure it's going to pick up really quick. Let's see. see see if they uh oh ants look at the ants that bee walks right over the ants didn't even care I saw the ants well we did and then fell back in there's a the yellow yeah it's starting to pick up over. i mean they're definitely making, starting to make trips back and forth. I'm just curious how long it's going to take for them to uh, really start. And again, this is late in the afternoon. But they're finding it. They're getting a the taste of it. And then they're flying back to their colonies. And this one, you saw it was dry when I put put this 10 gallons in here so a dollar a gallon a dollar I'll say a dollar five a gallon is what it ends up being <laughs> not including the cost of the water there's one corner right there imagine the next 10 to 15 minutes this thing is going to be just popping with bees or maybe not i mean it's not it's warm but the sun is starting to go down so they might just not come today but that's fine it'll be here in the morning early for them and we do have a little bit of a flow going on too so that could also slow them down But they're, I can see them when they're taken out of here, they're doing an orientation flight to figure out where they're at and fly home. You guys must not be seeing much in here. Don't take them long to fill up, does it? But there's definitely starting to get more and more. A little orientation. Go go home and tell the ladies where it's at. Then they fly right down the road here, right to their colony. Do them a little waggle dance, pass off the syrup and come back. I wish y'all could see, you can't see the bees against the light, unfortunately. They're start, it's starting to pick up, though. You can see there's more, definitely more. There was only one bee in here when I poured this in here, so. Figure every time they come back and forth, they're, they're going to bring more with them.
This might turn into B-mageddon. Because they come in for maybe 20, 30 seconds. And then they're out. So you figure if every time they go back, I don't know how long it takes them to unload. Let's say it takes them just as long to unload as it does to load up. Every minute, they should be exponentially getting more bees over here. Here's cicada. Oh yeah, they're coming. They're definitely coming. It's probably the, like watching paint dry. But it's kind of interesting. I got my thinking bucket today, not my thinking chair, right? I've literally just poured the syrup in here with water recently and nothing happened. And I ended up having to pour it out, hence all that pine straw sitting over there on the ground. But now I can recycle that pine straw. Matter of fact, I might put a couple little hands of pine straw in there while we're on the stream here. Just a couple little, little pieces while I step in the fire ants. That'll, I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. A little bit easier for him to walk. But yeah, it's starting to pick up. Starting to pick up. Kind of curious to see. Let's see what it's doing at the colonies if they're starting to uh, come out. They may not even. Like I'm saying, you can see the shadows and all. It's starting to. It's definitely late. But sometimes they'll come out even though. And, uh, and they'll come back and let them know. Trying to see if I see any colors coming in. No color at the moment on those. I'm out. That one's got a couple beads on it. They will still send them out. There was a drone just went in. But they are working. Still. carpenter bee or a bumblebee but they are starting to get active around the colonies which is unusual right this time of night the one just flew in the side of my head and I could see bees from here flying around the container not huge
but they are. Flying. Yeah, they're checking it out. Anyway, we may not even see results today, guys. Not big results because they got to find it, go back, tell them. But it does look like the traffic's starting to pick up coming out of the colonies. So I'm going to take that as a win at the moment. And who knows, it could be even better. But there is a little bit of a flow going on right now. We're starting to get goldenrod popping open and stuff like that so that could uh could slow it down a bit but at any rate guys you have a good day be looking out for a discount for a pre-order and uh we'll see you see how we can get this done but anyway guys you have a good one i think i'm gonna go uh eat some dinner spend some time with the wife on this sunday and uh we'll be back at it later talk to you guys later Bye.